Hello Avair users. I'm going to quickly show in this segment how to connect Avair to an external ADS-B source, which in my case is a Stratix box that I built, uh, doing this via the Avair external I.O. plugin. The plugin is in the lower left corner of the app screen here, as you can see on my screen, which was downloaded from the Play Store. So the first thing you have to do, obviously, is go download the app. And then once you have it on your uh, tablet or Droid device, you're ready to go to interface with Avair. So first thing I'm going to do is uh, go to my settings and look at what connections I currently have, which currently I don't show any Wi-Fi connections. But I do want to make sure I'm connected to my Stratix box first. So I just plugged my Stratix box in to my USB battery pack that I use to power it during flight. And in one second or two here, we'll see the Wi-Fi for Stratix appear. When it appears, it should automatically connect. If not, I will connect to it. So this will be the first step you have to take um, to get things going. So there it is, there's Stratix, it's connected, great. So now we'll go back to our apps page and launch the Avair external I.O. plugin app. In the upper left hand corner, confirm that you are using, in this case, a Wi-Fi connection. There may be other options depending on your device, but for my Stratix box, I am using Wi-Fi. So I am clicking the Wi-Fi button there. The second thing you need to do is verify your port, which for a ver, uh, for the I.O. app requires uh, 4000, which I had previously set here. That's an editable field with the underline there. I don't need to change it, so I'll leave it alone. But what I do want, I do want to do at this point is to listen to the Stratix box. So I'm listening over Wi-Fi to the data, and there you can see raw data being streamed from Stratus. The next thing I like to do is just to see the actual raw data or the, the raw airplane or weather information from Stratix is to go into my browser. And then in my browser, bring up the address for Stratix, which in this case is 192.168.10.1. It's here in my favorites. I'll just click on it. As this launches, you can see a whole bunch of information here. It's telling you the status of your UAT and 1090ES. It's giving you some statistics about towers and pyreps, sigmets, everything there, which currently says zero because since I'm not flying, I'm really not receiving much of anything. And if I refresh this, I will probably see some tail numbers of aircraft that are actually uh, being received here. Um, live data a lot of that will be 1090 traffic all right well it's not showing up at the moment but anyway this is the screen i use to go see what it's currently being received uh in the io app from the stratix box itself so now we want to go to a ver and see how to get this data onto our app uh, onto our moving map so we'll go back here we'll launch a ver Okay, shows my current position here at my home airport, and at uh, or, well, it will in a minute. Uh, I'm not receiving GPS, but my home airport here is Dalton. Um, what you can see here is some traffic targets, so I'm actually receiving some traffic, live traffic, um, from my Stratix box. There's a target here next to Flint, a target over here, west of the 10 mile ring. Um, but anyway, to get the traffic and weather onto uh, VAIR, uh, make sure you have, first of all, make sure you have the box on the right-hand side set to NextRad if you want to see uh, satellite uh, or radar weather images overlaid on your map. And then the second thing you want to do is go to your weather option and check the box for Use ADSB Weather which in, below it describes it, it says select to use the weather from ADS-B receiver, which in my case is a Stratix box, 
And it also tells you, obviously, that you have to have the Avair external I.O. module app downloaded and configured to do this. Okay? Otherwise, you're going to be just looking at whatever weather you had previously downloaded before um, you took off in flight. So check the box here. And go back. And... Now, if there were weather being broadcast, I would see it overlaid on my map. It's a clear day today, and I'm not flying, so I'm probably not actually even receiving weather data. Um, but this is how you would configure it to, to see that. Um, so that's how you set up Stratix to Stratix box to your, to your external I.O. Avair app. And then from there, the app communicates to Avair to put the data on your map. Hopefully you'll find that helpful. Happy flying.